going on everybody? It's our Mike. I hope everyone's having a great afternoon. Uh, as the title implies, controlling your Nest thermostat or Nest products with Android Wear. Yes, uh, there was recently, just today actually, a Nest update, which we'll go on ahead and show you here, that you can now, if you're on the proper version of the Nest application, as you all know, the Nest application is kind of an all-in-one, works with your Nest Protect, your Nest Cam, Drop Cam Pro, uh, the Nest Thermostat, I believe first, second, and third generation. Um, what we'll do here is I'm going to go into, if I can find it, I don't know why I cannot find it, the Play Store, oh yeah, that's right, I have mine in a folder, nope. Um, we'll go into the Play Store, we're going to go to the information about the recently updated app. Looks like got some more updates too. We'll go to Nest. Down here in the description, first off, you want to make sure you are running version 5.3.070. That is the version you will want to be on to be able to use this ability. All the way up here at the top, what's new? New features, uh, family accounts, up to 10 people can access the Nest products with their own Nest account. Home and Away Assist automatically adjust your Nest products as you come home and go. Android Wear Support control your Nest thermostat from your wrist. So this shows that it is just the thermostat for now. I'm sure in the, um, with some of the Nest and Drop Cam stuff in the past, you've been able to get notifications on your wrist as well. But the nice part is you can do all your temperature adjusting and everything right from your wrist. And we'll go over that here in a minute. New to the Nest Cam, automatically turn on when you go. Uh, and off when you're home improvements to launch pairing and video history so that's all our information there for the rest of this we won't actually need the phone we're just going to put this off to the side over here um, right now as you guys can see i am actually on verizon 4g lte i'm not connected to my um, wi-fi at home just for this demonstration so we'll do is a razor wrist we will go over to our app drawer. As you can see, I've played with this already, so my Nest is up here at the top in my most recent. We'll tap it, and it will open up. It is connecting to the phone, getting information. And here we are, Nest, my home sweet home. Right now it's 61 degrees outside, partly cloudy. The thermostat is set to 70 degrees, but being that it is warm enough outside, and of course heat radiating onto the house, I have no need to have this set at 70 degrees. As you can see, we can turn it down. You can either, uh, I believe, yeah, you'll have to use your up and down arrows to do this, but you can turn your temp down. We'll set it to 68. And if you go over one page, you can see it is on heat. If I had AC in my house, air conditioning, I would have cool, and you have the option to turn it off as well. We'll go back a page. If we try to scroll up, nothing there. Scroll down. You can see that we have the inside humidity and the outside temperature. If we pull down again, nothing happens. We scroll back up, that will disappear. So that's some of our info about it. Now, if you had, if this was able to connect with other Nest products, I could see us in the future just having a list of other Nest products in the house and seeing what's going on, if everything would connect up to Android Wear in the future like that. Um, if we try to scroll over from left to right, or right to left, Nothing happens, and of course, if we scroll from left to right, we close out our application on the watch. So, um, just to prove that this is working, we will go downstairs and we will look at the thermostat, just so you can see that we are running at, uh, the house is set at 68 degrees. We'll relaunch the app. Yep, it says 68 degrees right there. So, another way we can check that is just going into the application, just to confirm it. So, we'll open up my phone here, go into the Nest app, it's going to load up, it's telling us about our new features that are available, the away in the home, new features for your house, family accounts, we'll hit continue, um, we're going to do, not now, just because I do want to go over that stuff, but when we get, when I get into further time, we'll hit not now, so it says right there we are set at 68 for the house, so as you can see, so next we'll go ahead and go downstairs and we will take a look at the thermostat. And another thing that in this video as well, you can actually, if your phone is off, you have it charging or you don't even have it with you, you can control your Nest just with your watch on the Wi-Fi. 
So we'll go over that. Okay, so here we are downstairs in my living room where my nest is at. I have my phone right next to us here. As you can see, we are on 4G. We are not using uh, the Wi-Fi on the house. We will go on ahead and on the watch, we will open back up the nest just to show that we are at the same setting here as we are on the nest itself. So the nest says 68, the house is running about 73. We will look here at the watch and it says we'll just set to 68 in the living room. But we'll go on ahead and select it and it says this shows the same thing, 73 is the current temperature. All right, so from here, like I said, the other thing you can do is you can actually control the nest via your watch with no need of your phone, as long as you are on your home Wi-Fi. Now, I have not had a chance to try this with my work Wi-Fi, but this just shows you that you can still control part of your nest with just the watch, not needing your phone as processing the data. So what we'll do is we'll turn off my Bluetooth on the phone, and... The watch should pop up here in a second, telling us no connection. We shall see. Okay, so there we go. We have no connection on the Android Wear. If I can get that to focus. There we go. Next, I'll check and make sure we're on Wi-Fi, which we are on the Wi-Fi here. So we're connected to my Wi-Fi, same Wi-Fi that the Nest runs on. We'll go on ahead and do the same thing. We will open back up our Nest application on the watch. It's gonna load, thinking, thinking. It might take a couple tries. Okay, no, it worked the first time. Uh, first time I tried this, it took a couple minutes for it to show. So it is showing us our home information again, home sweet home, no other Nest products. We'll go ahead and click on temperature so we can adjust it. Same thing, we should be able to pull down. Yep, see our humidity inside and out. We will drop the temp down to 66, which you can see gives us our leaf, so we're in energy saving mode. And we look at the thermostat, and sure enough, it has dropped down to 66 degrees. So there you go. As long as you're on the same Wi Fi, now if I do happen to be able to do this from work, I will update the video with a, in the comments section so you guys can see that this can work from another Wi-Fi source. Uh, this is Arv Mike. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the video description below. Um, another note is you cannot command your Nest to change temperatures from your Android Wear. That is not available. That is still something you can do just with Google Now through the phone. Uh, you just gotta say, okay, Google, turn my temperature to whatever, and it should pop up with your Nest application as long as you have allowed it to, to copy that information and use that should pop up telling you everything but uh, anyway like i said leave a comment in the comment section down below this is our mike i hope everybody has a great evening and i will see you in the next video